Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Real T Dog here with another video. Uh, this video is gonna be a quick one because I gotta go to my sister's place in a little bit. We're going to do a, a party uh, for her birthday and all that. And then later on today, I got a uh, birthday party for Steve. Y'all remember him? Um, so yeah, I got like an hour to do this right quick but luckily it's not that even a, a big deal but we're gonna be doing a rear windshield wiper delete on the rsx i got this off ebay um it was pretty cheap i'm not gonna lie and it's made in china but you know what it's whatever it's a plug it's a plug for a hole in the window that's that's about it but literally we're gonna be re removing all this and then the motor in that's somewhere, the motor that's somewhere in here somewhere. All right, first, flip up this cover on here. Pretty simple, it's not that hard. And then I think this is a 10 mil, let me see. Nope, 12 I think. Then 12 millimeter to this. mounting screw man that was easy there we go you might need to wiggle it a little bit but make sure you bend it upwards and then to relieve stress off the spring and you just wiggle it out and there's that then this rubber piece you just take out and there's a big nut over here that you need to remove in order for the motor and all that to fall out from under. Alright, as you can see, I used, a, I used a vice grip to get this nut out because I couldn't find a correct uh, size socket for this thing so oh well all right next under the trunk there is a, a phillips head screw right here phillips head screw right here and then one right in here in the handle remove those three screws and then you could pull off these these panels this top one i believe you pull from out here and you push it in. So let's do that. Uh, these side pieces have one, two, three. I think there's supposed to be a fourth one. I think it got stuck in there. Um, parts you need to like pry out from the from the body. FYI. This right here is for is the motor for the wiper. All I gotta do is unclip the power source, and there's three 10 millimeter bolts, and it just should fall out. So let's get to it. As you can see, it just falls out once you. Uh, Take out the bolts and all that other stuff on the other side. Just need to equip this. 
All right, so I finally got that disconnected. All I gotta do now is move this washer and this rubber grommet. I'm gonna do that off camera right quick. All right, so this is how it works. This part right here, this flat part, goes on top, which is, you know, the outside of the window. Got the rubber gasket seal, whatever. This one goes under it with also with a rubber gasket seal and a screw to tighten it all down. Also, it might help to put a piece of tape or two on the outside part while you work on the inside just to keep it from moving around. This particular uh, kit, this little screw thing takes like a 2.5 millimeter Allen key and then the nut it comes with is a 10 mil, FYI. First off, put that little screw on part. Probably could have done that from outside the vehicle, but oh well, whatever. Uh, well, people, <laughs> this should be a lesson to y'all. Don't, don't go too tight on these uh, rear window deletes. I went too tight, and uh, that happened. Y'all saw what happened. Um, I swear to God, it's like every, almost everything I do with cars or with a car or whatever. It's like always something comes up. Always something comes up. It's never, a, it's never a smooth ride, you know. Well, not never, but like it's always. Well, anyways, so it looks like I'm gonna have to get a replacement. Maybe I'll just go full Lexan. It's something I wanted to do later on, but I guess I have to do it now. Full Lexan uh, replacement. It's lighter weight, you know, it's whatnot and all that stuff. So those are the steps to installing a uh, rear window wiper delete on the RSX and also what not to do when installing a windshield wiper, rear windshield wiper delete. God damn it. I'm scared to close this thing because the window's probably gonna explode if it does. This shouldn't have happened. Well, anyways, thanks for watching guys and hopefully the next video won't be something so, so f***ed up. Okay, peace.